guys, how are you doing? It is Thursday night. Sid's watching football, so if you hear that in the background, that's what's going on. My name is Tony. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you well, thank you to my steady. And I am going to make some fajitas inside the house on the skillet. It's nothing fancy, it's just gonna be quick meal prep. And but I did go to Home Goods and I want to show you what I picked up some caramel pecan skinny syrup. I'm having a feeling this is going to make an awesome chaffle, a sweet chaffle, pecan caramel chaffle. And I saw a recipe how to make um, caramel with monk fruit, but you use the golden one. So I found this also there. This, These are $3.99. This was $8.99. But this is the golden monk fruit sweetener. It's not the it's the Health Garden brand. It's the same one as the pasta that I've been using to make the Hearts of Palm pasta that I've been using to make the lasagna and spaghetti and what have you. There, it's really good. We really like it. And then I found this salted caramel mocha. Oh my! Like, I bet that's delicious. So I got that. Great for coffee. Great for flavoring some chuffle. If you haven't noticed, I love caramel. I also have, and I didn't get this on this trip, I had this, got this prior, is some vanilla. And then I have this Tirani sugar-free salted caramel. I'm not as big a fan of this as I am of skinny syrups, but you know, you paid money for it, you're going to use it. So I'm excited to make some recipes with these, so it would be looking out for some new chaffle recipes using these skinny syrups. I'm super excited to try some new things with that. And I am going to go get over here and start uh, cooking up these fajitas. You know, I can just show you how I, you know, brown them in the, but I'm sure you probably know how. Or on the grill. I mean, we're going to cook them in the house today just because it's late and we're in the house already and Sid's watching football. So when we grill, he's typically the one outside grilling. So am I the only person who like gets home from work immediately, goes straight to my room, changes into a big t-shirt and some yoga pants or some comfy pants and then just is in for the night like that's my happy place my nose is always running trying not to sniffle it's a conscious effort guys because i sniffle all the time and then when i watch my videos back it annoys me to death if i edited better i know how to take them out anyways i'm still trying to learn i want to watch everyone's videos to keep up with y'all for the people that I, you know that subscribe to me that also have channels too and I want to watch creator editing videos kind of thing, but there's just not enough hours in the day when you work full time. So <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, I do meal prep for all four girls, including myself in my office and my daughter, who is 32 and is staying with us just for a short time until her new house is ready. So she is doing keto also and is doing well. So my brother and my sister-in-law who are now relocating from Seattle to uh, the San Diego area in California, as we speak on Thursday night, they're on their way. New adventure, he got a big promotion and he's going, they're moving to California. So they're on their way down there right now and I wish them all the best and luck and all that, but they are on keto and they're killing it. So they just started a couple weeks ago. They are losing a lot of weight and having a lot of fun with making new recipes and hopefully watching my channel. I'm watching. I'm gonna wait for you to tell me that you saw me say this. I'll wait. Anyways. So I am going to get those fajitas started. I'll pop over there. They are already seasoned. We're really just cooking them. That's it. And we're going to put it together like a meal prep container and get it ready. So it's going to take some tortillas, make him some tacos, and that'll be that in a flash. Weeknight success. I did not have time to meal prep. It's football season. <laughs> All right. See you back. Yes. Hey guys. All right. Real life happened. So that was a call from the police department and it was a false alarm. They thought they had an accident on my property, but it turned out it was on one of my sister properties. So that was after three phone calls of sending people the wrong place, but we got it figured out. Nobody's hurt, everybody's fine, just a little damage. So they're just gonna get some insurance information and be on with the night. So everybody's fine. All right, so I these are like pretty close to cooked. I'm gonna turn them down on like low because these are super thick. Um, if I feel like they're getting too dark on the outside. I'll pop them in the oven at 350 until I get an internal temperature that I'm happy with. 
Um, I like to cook them a little over medium just because he's going to warm them up in the microwave and that will cook them further tomorrow. So I have my trusty KitchenAid meat thermometer and medium is between 130 and 159. So that's where we're going. And we, I'm just gonna let this hang out here until we get that temperature or I might throw them in the oven if it looks like they're gonna get too brown on the outside. So there's our fajita making fajitas. I'll be back in a little while just to check in and say hi and say bye all at the same time. Hey guys, so we're cranking up the heat just to finish it up here. And it is, um, what is wrong with my camera holder today? Um, cranking up the heat to get a nice crust on the outside so all the juice is in. We're gonna put them on our clean board and let them rest and then we'll cut them up. So yeah, and this pan will be fun to clean. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna finish these. I'm gonna take another temperature on it in just a minute, make sure it's good, and we'll get these out of here and get them cut up. Yes? All right, guys, so I have let these rest. As you can see, I have messed up my camera thing. I tightened the wrong, I'm frustrated, can you tell? Okay, here is our fajitas. And I'm not gonna show you cutting all of it, but I'm gonna have to cut this in half and go on the bias. You always wanna cut See the grains of the meat that go like this? You always want to cut against the grain. And I always like to cut them at an angle. And it makes them very tender, very delicious, super juicy. We've already had a taste of these. They are fabulous. They're tender. They're not tough at all. So I'm just going to continue to cut up these strips. I'm going to Toast them up some fajitas. I have to cut this big old, big old boy over here, so I'll make this probably in three. But you can see just a little pink in the middle, so when he heats it up in the microwave, it's delicious. We did go to 155 degrees on the thermometer. So that is our fajitas. I'll get these boxed up. I'll get his tortillas. If you are keto, just get you some, oh wow, that didn't work. Just get you some low carb tortillas if that's how you want to do it or just put this on a salad like a fajita steak salad awesome just great awesome easy weeknight meal quick to cook delicious and so i'm toying tell me down below if anyone has a recipe for this because if not i'm inventing one and then i'll be a genius but i want to take this and this and pan these some pecans. But I only have a little tiny bit of pecans and I keep these in the freezer. I don't have a lot, but I'm really seriously contemplating playing mad scientist. Of course I'll film it and if it doesn't work out, I won't publish it. But if you have any recipes for baking with Jordan Skinny syrups, tag them down below in the description box. If you like this video, just give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the bell so you know when i upload a new video and all the things youtube and thank you so much to my new subscribers and thank you to my steady i really appreciate you being here and staying with my family even though i've been low on content with the storm and just things at work and it's month end i manage apartments so things are crazy hence the police phone call earlier because when you have an apartment complex things happen when the police are on property they always let you know well let's say mostly let you know so anyways, I am going to close out this video and I'm going to go edit one from last night and get that up and then I'll get this one up for tomorrow. So, as I say and I always mean with my whole entire heart, thank you so much. Hey guys, it's Tony and it is still Thursday again. So, I have decided we're gonna go mad scientist. I have a cup and a little extra of pecans and we are going to go hard and try this recipe. So we are gonna make candy pecans with the Jordan Skinny Syrup and the Golden Monk Fruit, some vanilla, and some unsalted Kerrygold butter. Okay, so what I'm going to get together is a, a little over a cup of pecans. I'm gonna get a little less than half a cup because I'm gonna replace, it would be half a cup of the, of the, you know, the monk fruit. But we're gonna dial it back by a tablespoon or two. Let's do two tablespoons. Like we're mad scientists, let's just do it. Let's dial it back by two tablespoons and replace it with two tablespoons of this. And then we're going to get this all gooey and delicious and then we're gonna get it in. I'm gonna use my little tiny like 10 inch cast iron skillet. 
I think that was perfect for this. It's got good heat conductors. So we're gonna get this going. So I got my butter and I've got all my ingredients here. I'm gonna measure out this monk fruit before I start <laughs> filming the cooking because this is gonna go super fast. I'm gonna get my vanilla out. I have a cookie sheet over here lined. I gotta fix my thing. Got a cookie sheet here lined with parchment paper. Um, please don't come for me in the comments about my baking sheets. They're used a lot, so they're not beautiful. I wash them, I do all the things, but I've been using these same baking sheets for years and I cook a lot. I cook for everyone they know. Thanksgiving at my house, you bring raw food, I cook it. So that's how we work around here. So my pots and pans and dishes and all the things are very, very loved and very used. So with that said, let's get all our stuff and let's that make some awesome. candy. Let's make some candy pecans. <laughs> yes, next weekend we are going to a Cowboys game. I'm trying to figure out if I have a way to take you with me. I mean, on my phone I could, but I don't know. It's way better on my camera, but I don't know. We'll see, but for sure we're going and I will be sending your way some at least photo slides or something in that respect, a few clips of video, but we're gonna have a great time. We're taking Zane, but that's a secret. All right, he's gonna be surprised. We're not telling him where he's going. We're going to visit family. Yay! That's what's happening. All right, guys, we have our quarter cup of butter here melting down in my little cast iron skillet. I have a little less than half of a cup of the golden monk fruit. I have some vanilla extract. We're gonna use a teaspoon of this and we're gonna use two tablespoons of this skinny syrup. So we've got this going. Once it's melted, we're going to go ahead and get this in the party. And we're gonna go ahead and get our skinny syrup in the party, as you can see. This is the caramel pecan flavor. I thought this would be really nice in here. in here all right I'm gonna start stirring constantly until we got this into like syrup like we're making a caramel when you're making caramel with real brown sugar this is monk fruit completely keto friendly healthy delicious so we're gonna let this heat for a while so it can thicken so we're gonna Oh, I'm sorry, got sidetracked. I was looking at notifications on my phone. So. so this is all nice and melty. We're gonna get our vanilla. Use pure vanilla, do not use imitation. It is not gonna work for the same. So that's one tablespoon. I mean, teaspoon, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna let this kind of come to a little bit of a boil so it can kind of thicken up. So we're gonna have to let this for like maybe seven or eight minutes um, so it can start to thicken. So I'm just gonna let this kind of simmer away on medium heat. If you've ever made caramel, you know you never you usually gonna add some heavy cream here or but we're not going for caramel, we're going for candy, but we don't want to let it go too high. I'm just gonna keep letting this stir and it's gonna start to thicken. So this is gonna take about seven minutes, so I will be back. Just continue, keep on moving it, don't let it bowl over, and let it just stay like this bubbly, foamy consistency, and it will start to thicken. So we're gonna do that, and I'll see you back in a few. Okay guys, our candied has thickened up. You can see it's like good and thick. We have our pecans here. We're going to add, we've turned off the heat now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the little bit in the bag, because why not? And then we're gonna toss these in our candied solution. Oh my gosh. Guys, 
what the actual heck this was like less than 10 minutes and i can already tell you these are going to be fabulous we're going to be fighting over these buckies you ain't got crap on us with your candy pecans i love bucky's candy pecans so i've really been missing them we are going on a road trip as i said to the dallas cowboy game next weekend and we always stop at the bucky's in madisonville which is like halfway there it's a huge Bucky's. If you're not from Texas or one of the states that has Bucky's, it is almost like it's a it's a convenience store on steroids. Like they do sandwiches, they make jerky, they have a bakery, they have candy pecans, they have brisket and all kinds of t-shirts and bathing suits and anything you I mean it's like a Walmart but a gas station. Kind of crazy. It's super big. They have really good food they have t every drink you can imagine tons of fresh jerky you can buy from their jerky counter or you can buy their packaged ones it's super delicious so anyways we are soaking up all this candy and it is sticking to these pecans beautifully speaking of the dallas cowboys yeah that's how i roll anyways i'm going to take this over here to our blind cookie sheet no shame on my cookie sheet, people. No shame. Okay. Leave me a comment down below if you're a channel creator or a channel watcher and you have noticed that people make super rude comments about the most random things that are in the background of your video. You know what I mean? Like, I have a trash can and I did not realize that I did not take the tag off the trash can. Now, I've lived in this house for two years. Three years, right? Right, said three years? What? We've lived here three years, right? We built the house three years ago? Oh my God. Yeah. So, in October. This will be our fourth Christmas here. Wow. Okay, so we've been here a minute. But anyways, I have had, we bought this trash can when we moved in. And as of about a month ago, I have still not taken the dang sticker off of my trash can that said that it had a foot pedal, you know, to raise the lid or it, it, you know, just advertising what the gallons were. And someone decided to tell me that I needed to get my life together and take this sticker off my trash can. And I'm like, why are you looking at my trash can? Like, why do you care if I have a sticker on my trash can? You know, like, what does that have to do with keto? And how does that have to do with the recipe that I'm showing you? Like, yeah, that's crazy. I have no idea, like, why? Would you take time out of your day to say something like that? And it wasn't like, hey, you know, did you realize that you had? No, it was like quotations, exclamation points, take the tag off your trash can. I'm like, or the sticker. I'm like, really? Okay, well, it hasn't bothered me for all these years. It hasn't bothered anybody that's been to my house that I've cooked for. It hasn't bothered anybody at all. So I um, took the damn thing off now, though, just because it irritated me that somebody said something about it. I mean, I don't know why. But we have our pecans all spread out on our cookie sheet to cool down. We'll be taking them over to our engineer taste testing. He is diabetic, so sugar-free candied pecans are right up his alley. Because he will surely eat sugared one at Bucky's if he doesn't have an alternative. So we have fixed the situation for the healthy side. And I thought I would add this into the video for my fajitas since, um, you know, that was pretty lackluster meal prep. But I just, you know, had gotten these syrups today and I thought, you know what, this would make a really great candy pecan. So we made candy pecans. You know what? You don't have to think about it, be about it. All right, guys, I'm going to take these for a taste test and I'll be back to let you know what he said. Be back. All right. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. This is money. That is money. Holy Moses. Like, they're still hot, but mm, these are so good. Woo! These are gonna be. <laughs> Step away. Hands up. The chop kitchen. Whoa, those are good. Guys, must do. A little less than a half a cup of golden monk fruit, a teaspoon of vanilla, two, uh, two tablespoons of skinny syrup. I'm, I'm just making it up as I go, and a quarter of a cup of butter. I did mine in a little cast iron, threw it on that parchment paper, 
guys like these are so freaking good like holy batman you see them look at them that is a legit candied pecan legit like these are amazing dangerous and amazing at the same time i'm gonna let these cool down get them a couple tupperwares you have to keep them in the fridge these are money oh my god they're so delicious mm. all right guys bye for real this time thumbs up the candy pecans give me a comment tell me if you make any recipes with jordan's candy syrups because i am surely going to mad scientist something up with this bad boy Salted caramel mocha. What? Caramel chocolate. I can't take it. It's going to be delicious. We'll figure it out. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.